Hey guys, it's Chromewing1 from the Lone Star War Machines, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the M1911A1 model. To make things, uh, before I get started, I had my, I pa had my, I painted my gun black because I got this color, but when I received it, it was all scratched up and dented, and so I polished it up and then I repainted it. So yeah, I'll probably have to turn on my phone so you can see it. It is the exact same color as you see here. Let's go to the box. Let me get my old phone because I don't have a flashlight. There you go. Sorry, uh, it was daylight, and I had to do a quick review because we're gonna. Uh, me and my friends are gonna have an airsoft war uh, on the Fourth of July at night. And uh, we we're at my house, and in a couple of hour, and I can I think an hour, we're about to go to the field. It's owned. It's it's owned by my best friends dead so yeah i'll let go there in a minute and this is the gun i'll be bringing as my secondary uh shoots last time i checked 360 fps correct me if i'm wrong it is a green gas or propane my phone right there rifle pistol and yeah when you pick up the gun and so if it's no i think the trigger is full Everything is plastic except the screws, of course. And to remove the clip, which I painted in gold so I could show, you just put your finger and push it out like that. And this holds 13 rounds. And to fill it up, you hold it for three seconds in the tank. But I will show you the Zocco second review, which is a Crusaders tactical propane adapter. Uh, yeah. So what you do is get the propane adapter, which is this, and then do this, and then you spray. If you have silicone oil, like I do, just a little bit, like that, and then you just twist it on, like this. Don't over tighten it though, because you'll break the threads. So I'm going to put this down out of the way. Take the gun. And you take the propane tank. Flip it upside down. Like that. And to make sure I did it right. And there you go. And I'm going to tell you, it's normal for it to leak when you're filling it, and trust me, it is going to stink. I don't know if you smell vegetable soup before, but imagine that same smell, but rotten. How rotten smelling. And so, yeah. And then you take the gun, like that, and I poured a little bit <coughs> for a demo. You see, it's already empty. Just for the demo, and let me just put that like there, and I will fill it up completely so I can show you it. And might I remind you that it is cold outside, so the so it's going to use a lot more gas than it should. And yeah, let me go close quick. Sorry, I had to test it. And yeah. and it, it's also, all it comes with the yellow BBs as well, which I just put them right there because I'm not going to use them. And 
The propane adapter was separate. It cost me $24 on e-bike. No, on a Texas 911 gear. And the pistol cost me 30 so Yeah, 30 on eBay. 24 on eBay, sorry. With, with free shipping on both of them. Now, when you're done, or you're fixing to store your soft gas blowback, or MBB or GBB, uh, the instructions say to leave a little bit of gas, uh, preferably two to three shots worth in it, so this protects us against o -ring. You can empty mine out real quick, this is the safest way to uh, release the gas without damaging it on this gun, less, on this gun though. There we are. That was the review of the HFC 1911. Um, uh, if you're seeing this video now, um, it should be af right after the uh, my rifle review I got on Monday. I'm sorry I didn't upload the video that earlier because my internet's been out for a whole week, and so yeah, I haven't really uploaded anything. Um, yeah. Oh, and stay tuned. We are getting a new uh, office-looking thing for our views and loadouts. So stay tuned to that. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later.